Good morning. How are you? Hey, I just wanted to say on Saturday, I felt bad that you ladies would call me an obnoxious apostate and just leave. I don't want you to leave. I just wanted to ask you a Bible question, and then you started to call me names. Is that something that happens on the regular? We're out car crashing this morning. Lori got home from work, and she said, why don't we go to the parks and see if we see Jehovah's Witnesses. And we saw the two ladies that I've seen them three times now in the past three weeks. So the first time I had a conversation with them, I asked them about Jehovah, uh, about Jesus praying to Jehovah in, in that video. And then last Saturday, I just approached them and said, hey, I wanted to ask you uh, another Bible question. And they literally said, you're just an obnoxious apostate and left. So today, when I saw them, they just got up and got mad and left. Now, I don't know how they know who I am or anything like that, but I just think it's interesting to look at their behavior. I think it's kind of sad, too. I didn't personally recognize them. Which is crazy. Because I remember the other ladies you saw. I don't remember these ladies. Huh. So I don't know. Yeah. Well, maybe they moved into this car because they're closing congregations mm -hmm. or kingdom halls. And so they're converging, right? So maybe it was someone that was from a different hall that you just didn't know it closed down and now they're here in Longview. Right. Uh, in any respect, their behavior was really bad. Yeah. These witnesses, this is not something as a witness that I would have done. I would have right. never been like, you're an obnoxious. I'd be like, stand something. up for my faith. There she is right next to you in the car. Awesome. <laughs> She's gonna think we're stalking. <laughs> I should slow down and see if they're going to another park. Okay. So we're actually going to go to more parks and see if more Jehovah's Witnesses are out, speaking of that. And uh, we just wanted, I just wanted to come on and just, uh, maybe I'll put this before the video footage. Um, but we got some video footage of them packing up. They have like little JW.org backpacks. Bags. It it's is like, crazy. It's a bag. It's a thing. I mean, but they're not into idolatry though. Not at all. Not at all. Okay, so I'm gonna put some footage in here and hopefully as we go to some other parks, maybe we'll get a conversation in and be able to have an intellectual conversation about Jesus Christ rather than you're an obnoxious apostate and they pack up and leave. Exactly. Okay, we will talk to you guys in just a couple minutes. We really do. I just came here from California. And uh, I don't know, have you visited? That uh, in the Johannes Gruber version, that Jesus was a God. And the Watchtower admits to using that demonic translation. And they apologize for it. So I encourage you to look that up on jw.org. How they used jw.org backpack. Johannes Gruber's translation. And his wife was a demonic spirit medium and that they decided to tell all the people that and that you can be safe. Please research jwfacts.com. We yes. love you guys and care about you. jwfacts.com. You can come to Jesus and not have to be a slave for the watchtower. Amen. And you're, you're listening to uh, Doctrines of Men, and God has been here way before 1876, and there, was a, there wasn't Jehovah's Witnesses then. Okay, so we pulled over, and they pulled over too. So just so they know that we can show that we're not doing anything to them, we're just recording them leaving the park right now for our safety. Yeah, so because we, we pulled in because they were behind us. So we left the other park. There they go. That's both of them right there in their black cars. Okay, so we're gonna yeah. go to another entrance. So we left the other park and we were driving and they were next to us and we passed them and we came to this park to get out of their way because this is where I saw Jehovah's Witnesses before to get out of their way and then they pulled in saw us and then they took off <laughs> I'm like they're following, so they're following us it is adventure time with David and Laura we are they're trying to figure out which park entrance to go to they're trying to figure out where to go and inadvertently it's just kind of funny that we ended up at the park that they were going to go to next so on to the next park which is a new one they don't know you, so go for it. Good morning. Oh, good morning, ladies. How are you today? Just fine, thank you. Oh, I'm doing well. It's a 
at least it's not too bad in the shade, right? Yeah, and then the breeze is really No, I'm really oh, sorry. <laughs> So you guys are Jehovah's Witnesses? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know. Can I ask a Bible question? Oh, okay, great. Um, so my wife and I are Christians, and I'm a Bible reader. And I was on JW.org. I saw some other ladies. They told me, hey, go on JW.org. So I started to look through the website. And I noticed that Jehovah's Witnesses, they pray to Jehovah. Do I have that right? So when you pray, you use the name Jehovah? Yes. Okay. What I'm trying to kind of nail down here is, did Jesus pray to Jehovah? Yes. Where where did he do that? Like, where did he use the name Jehovah? I'm going to pray to you. And I'll just tell you quick, quickly. The reason I'm asking is because every time I read, you know, like Jesus' own words, Matthew 6 is a, is a great place. When asked how to pray he said our father so every time i see jesus praying he prays to the father using that uh -huh. never using jehovah so i was just trying to think to myself if jesus never used jehovah in prayer why would i well a couple of things i could think about in the book of john okay jesus talked about the disciples becoming one just as he and the disciples were one. Okay. And he said he came to make his father's name known. You know, we have to go on to uh, Paul, remember? We have to go on to Paul. Okay, so. We'll have to get back to yeah. um, What I'd like to encourage you to do is continue your uh, research on jw.org. Mm -hmm. what, what were you about to say? About Jesus using his father, saying he wanted to make his father's name known. Okay. And then, um, so you, the word Father and God are titles. Now let me ask you, I'm going to ask you out of kindness because I'm a Christian. Yeah, we understand. Uh, hang I on. Forgot we had to do it. Did you just get it? Now, did, mm -hmm. did you just say that you received a text about me? No, I didn't say that. Not you. No? Uh-uh. So no. You, Why? Why? Who, do, who are you that I'm going to Well, I was talking to someone else and they were taking pictures of my wife and I and they called, they were Jehovah's Witnesses and they called us obnoxious apostates. And then you said, we just got a text, and then you didn't want to talk anymore. So I'm just curious, is that why? Well, no, because I... So no, you did not receive a text from no, someone? No, you can look you at my phone. No, I don't need to look at your okay. phone. I just find it, I find it odd that I ask a question. No, you can look at my phone if you want to. No, ma'am, I'm not, I, yeah, I'm not trying to okay, call you out. I'd like to encourage you to go to the website. Yeah. And right. And you will see mm -hmm. that um, if, uh, scriptures and in the book of John... It's that not on the about. website. I'm trying to find. Uh, it's not there. Where Where did Jesus use the name Jehovah? He told Jehovah? us that we should. He, he made my peace and I made my father's name known. Oh, so where did he do that? John, Throughout the earth, when he was on here for 33 years. Right. Do you have a passage John that? Me to, John wants me to go on. Come on. Please. Okay. Well, anyway, we we'll appreciate okay. your question, but so let me just, out of kindness, yeah. just tell you guys. Okay, I came here from Southern California, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and uh, there's a place over there. It's called Beth Serim. Uh -huh. And it's where Judge Rutherford mm -hmm. was living in the 1920s. Mm -hmm. And he said that the prophets were going to be resurrected and come live with him in San Diego. Oh. Now, do you guys still believe that? I never I'm not heard of it. that. I never heard I'm of not it. Oh, you should check out. But John, um, wants to, John wants me to get on. Oh, okay. Okay, I hope yeah. you guys check out J jwfacts.com. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, and I hope you guys we see. We are early, so we're ready to go home anyway. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I just want you guys to know that Christians love you, and you're being lied to by an organization. I know that sounds heavy hitting, okay. but I really care about you guys. It. Okay, we appreciate you caring. Yeah. Okay. Have a good day. All right, you All can right. trust bye just bye. Jesus alone. Okay. 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 Bye. Just Him. Day. All right. Oh no, I came, my wife and I, we go to the parks oh. and we like to talk with Jehovah's Witnesses like or Mormons. Oh, okay. So anybody who's out and wants to talk okay, about Jesus, like I thought you guys wanted to talk about Jesus, but I guess you got to go, so. Okay, yeah. All okay. right. We've been, been out here early. Oh. Okay, <laughs> God bless you. Bye. All I'm going to say for the record is she got a text. It had a picture of Laura and I. I saw it. I'm telling you right now, I wish I had it on video. I don't. 
but either you take my word for it or you don't. But there was a picture of Laura and I there, and uh, that's when they decided they didn't want to answer questions, and they did what they did. Ooh, crazy. Are they leaving? She just lied to me. I wish I had it on video. She said, she said, she got a picture of us. Uh -huh. I saw it. And then I said, did you just get a picture of my wife? And I was just like, no, you can look at my phone if you want to. I'm telling you right now. Who are you that I would, you know what I mean? And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not trying to call you. I saw the picture. Yeah. I saw it on her phone. And so then all of a sudden, the question I had, they didn't want to talk anymore and they had to leave. Oh. All of a sudden, they so had to leave. Leaving. Yeah, so they're leaving. So I just thought that was weird. Uh, we, we roll in, we find another cart, new people to talk to, and they got a text from those other ladies that we just saw sending them a picture of us. That's hilarious. Anyway, go JW Spines. ladies I just wanted to tell y'all I was in the watchtower for 39 years I know you Miss Lomax I started reading the King James Bible and I saw the deity of Jesus and I just don't want y'all to be deceived like I was when I found out that they used the reason they don't want you guys to research is because they hide the real truth that they used Johannes Grieber's translation for John 1 and his wife ended up being a spirit medium. Nice to see you, Lord. Okay, I'll pray for you, baby. I just don't want you to be deceived. And I love you guys, and I love my family. No matter what they say about me, I just want y'all to know the truth. Do you want to? You want to read that, baby? Okay, you trust in Jesus, honey. Okay, bye, sweetie. Oh Lord, I pray for these ladies, Jesus. Help them, God, because I know those sweet, sweet ladies. In Jesus' name, Amen. Sister Lomax. I know her. And she was trying to be real sweet to me. And she was like, it's okay, Laura. She's like, uh, oh, Laura, like real sweet, like. And I told her, look, I'm just here because the reason they don't want you to know is because the truth is out there. Uh. That they're hiding it from you and they don't want you to see these things because you would leave. And I told her to trust in Jesus. And then I started reading the King James and I saw the deity of God this is why these videos are so important as hard as it is to sit here and to try to find them but when you know these people personally and you care about them and you know they're being lied to you know they are she's she's old and she's an older woman and she's spent she how many years in the truth or the oh, watchtower or whatever her whole, life. her whole life all her grandkids all her kids see dedicated to a slave Sad. she's yes she's stuck in slavery and that's why we make these videos because we care about them we want these people to know and anyone watching that you do not have to believe the watchtower they are liars yeah. that's what they do that's who they are it's they want to deceive you they have no problem wait a second they're oh okay they're trying to figure out where they're going to go oh okay next. they're going to try to figure out where they're going one or well it's a it's illegal for me to get in the oncoming traffic lane yeah so they're in front of us actually right now trying to figure out where they're, they're, they're leaving go next. yeah so we are literally car crashing today they're packing up and leaving at every spot we go to she has a business too she's a very successful woman see an intelligent person can still be duped by false teachings it's very strong and it literally makes you believe like nothing else could possibly be true. Yeah. I'm in the truth. There is no way. Yeah. That's why these videos are so important. It's not that we want to... Nobody wants to make fun of Jehovah's Witnesses. Or I know we don't. We want to help them. And I think sometimes when you are forced to act a certain way because an organization demands you to, we hope it shows them later on. It may not right now because they're with their Jehovah Witness cohort friends. But maybe later, they'll think about that. Why did I act like that? Like, he just asked a Bible question. I did get a text. I was forced to lie to the man. Wow. I was forced to lie to him. 
and in the same breath say, I believe Jesus. Well, clearly... You just broke a commandment. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it was it was over the watchtower. I guess they would call that theocratic warfare. Right. They're hiding other witnesses from the big bad XJW David and Laura. When amazingly enough, all we're doing is asking Bible questions. And this flies in the face of Ken Flodeen who said... Notice when the apostates come and talk to you, they don't ever talk about Bible. That's all we talk about. We want to talk about the Bible. It's them that don't want to do it because they're told that we won't do it. And when we do do it, they're then told, don't even talk to us. Yeah. Crazy. But that's how this manipulation from this organization works. Okay. So. I got to see if they're at the other entrance. Okay. So well, I guess we're going to come back on maybe in a couple minutes here. And maybe have our third crash of the day. Let's see how it goes.